All day to throw on first down. And he's got a four-yard hook. Four right here. Four right here. Come on. Draw play. And that's going nowhere. Dante Stills draped all on the interior for West Virginia. Third and 16. Four-man rush. Brewer out of the pocket. He is dangerous. Flips one right at the first down line. Last week in Stillwater allowed a scoop and score that changed that game against Oklahoma State. Charlie Brewer out of the pocket. Across his body. Inside the 10-yard line. It's a first down catch. Offensive lineman just being too aggressive. Love it. Nowhere to go. Ran right into an edge blitz. From fields on that straight blitz when you see Baylor come out in that formation. As Brewer looks for a slant, it's incomplete. Yeah, absolutely. That might get them into more... Re Handle it appropriately. Obviously a tough loss for New England. Charlie Brewer, under pressure. He'll be sacked back at about the 10-yard line. In a game, West Virginia leads by a touchdown. Gavin Holmes, the motion man. Brewer from his goal line. Wants to set up the screen. Dumps it off to Ebner, and Tristan Ebner, who had four touchdowns. West Virginia rushes four on third down. Zone read going nowhere right now. Zero total yards of offense, and yet here they are first and ten with a chance to get things going. Love it. Play. Their front five got to play better. Love it again. Two yard. That's a four man rush. First down and more. Getting loose, Thornton. All the way down to about the 30. That's a big third down conversion and the first positive movement for this Baylor offense. Going backwards, coaching equipment and folding chairs. That should have been a 15 yard penalty. Incomplete. And short on fourth down. And there it is. It's an underneath hitter to the 30-yard line. In their zone. First career interception for JT Woods. And line replaced by Jason Moore, the backup center, who's now at left guard. Play action. Brewer up the seam. Tip ball. Flag down. Interception. A takeaway right back for West Virginia. Nick And he'll run it. And Bohannon picks up about a, with the return to play of the Big Ten. Ohio State's up there as we're returning everyone now to the college football rankings. And Charlie Brewer, after missing one play, having his shoulder worked on, is back. The thing is just, are you capable of holding the football and making the throws? Now it's goal to go. Ebner to the seven-yard line. It'll be... I want to see if they're going to throw the ball, get him outside these tackles. Preston Ebner again. Another yard. Ball's got to get up high, face mask or higher, back in the end zone. Here comes a blitz. Brewer well protected. One on one in the end zone. RJ Sneed. He's got it. Stuff up, but feeling okay with all those mistakes still in a tie game. You know, they've got at least for the moment Baylor pinned deep, but John Lovett is going to change field position with this run. A flag down. Love it. To the edge, out of bounds at the 10 yard line. On Thursday afternoon, and they go over the game plan and say, Hey, Charlie, what are the plays that you do like? What are the plays that you don't like? I think he likes handing it off from time to time. Keep our game plan, they make their decision, and then they move forward. And then on Fridays, love it again with another flag down. Larry Fedora is now telling his quarterback, almost giving him the keys to the game before the game ever starts. Ebner. Near the 20 yard line. But also Baylor, West Virginia called a timeout as they're going to try and save some time if they can get a stop with Baylor behind the sticks here. Brewer over the middle, and that'll stop the clock ball back. And it will be conservatively played by Baylor here as they're going to give the ball back to the mound. Gives him strength, Dave Aranda, to be himself. You don't hear coaches say that a lot, and that was my favorite moment with him. Charlie Brewer, he's going to run and pick up a first down and more as well three-man rush up the side 
Only a three-man rush again. Brewer out of the pocket, tripped up from behind. Love it, empties the backfield. Brewer out of the pocket. Flag down in the secondary. Another six yards or so, and they'll be in field goal range. And Brewer, that's a drop by Fleeks that would have... Five seconds to go. If you extend the play here, you might end the half. Two seconds to go. 10 of 14 for only 90 yards in the first half for the senior quarterback. He's going to roll off play action here and do it with his legs. Slides with a 16 yard. Open up. Trust your eyes. Love it. Behind the line. He's... Brewer off play action and he ends up underneath Darius Stills for loss in 14 sacks. And Darius Stills with another sack there. Third and 21. Brewer high throw well short of the sticks. Traveling for a week 10 days at a time. I could certainly understand why you'd get more positives in baseball as Lovett picks up a yard. The reason why they were successful in training camp because it is a bubble. You, you stay with your potential interaction between my family and I. Big play for Baylor here. Third down and five at midfield. Brewer tripped up behind the line. He goes down again. For winners, he's a winner. And right now, he's been bottled up by this West Virginia defense. He's going to take a shot here, though, to start off this drive. Incomplete down the sideline. And I don't think our two quarterbacks in our game have combined for that kind of production. As once again, it Play clock at five. Brewer wants the football, and his offensive line wasn't ready for his center. Third and 13. Only a three-man rush. So Brewer has all day. Nowhere to go with the football. And eventually he goes down. A three-man rush gets it. Now, as this is their fourth second-half possession. They've only got one first down. And just about throwing an intercept. Doing a great job in coverage. Their eyeballs are on their wide receiver. Get them off, create some momentum, make some plays with your legs, Charlie Brewer. Now they tell him to get out of the pocket. I'd get him out of the pocket for sure and simplify his reads to get him to play faster. This is a two-man rush. And Brewer able to get one right to the first. Third down and one. Snap it quickly. And on a keeper, there's Brewer. Not a need five blocks, maybe just you need two or three. Four-man rush, good protection. Brewer into traffic. Use some confusion, get people on the perimeter, and get the ball out quickly. Four-man rush on what might be the final play of the quarter. And it will be a Sneed. Got to get this ball out of his hands in between the hashes. Big third down to start the fourth quarter for Brewer. First down catch for Josh Fleeks. Defender and win, either out or in. A handoff to Ebner. And Treston Ebner brought down right. Out near show blitz. They will rush five. That throw from Charlie Brewer. Man then picked up. Baylor's defense gets off the field. Their offense has just got to go execute. Charlie Brewer on play action. Under pressure. And again, he'll be sacked. The first has to get Charlie Brewer out the pocket. He's in the pocket here. Now he's flushed out. Throws it away. Third down and 14 coming. Side has got to win one on one versus corner. High throw incomplete would have been well. And can. Yeah, I would play Brian Hoyer. He's got like 40 career starts. I'm not going to put Jared Stidham out there who hasn't had reps in preseason. He's been hurt. I'm not going to put. As we approach the midway point here in the fourth. Coming back to help out his quarterback is Sneed. But I think it's a no-brainer who you go with. Charlie Brewer. He's been there, done that as well. He needs to do it again here on third down. Keep the drive alive. Tip ball. Almost if you have to get away. What an opportunity for Baylor. Over the middle. Seam route on Spreader. Let's get the ball outside. A design rollout for Brewer. Tip ball incomplete. In Baylor in the red zone looking for the tying score. Brewer. To about. 
Ebner spinning, trying to keep the play alive. Picks up two. Bottom of the screen. This singled up receiver right there. Brewer, play action. Steps up, reverses field, gets it out to Ebner. He breaks a tackle. He's right at the first down line. Love it. Right up the middle. He's got the first down. Love it. To about the two and a half yard line. And they mark him down right at the three. Play action. Brewer. Back of the end zone. Is that intercepted? It is. So Charlie Brewer off the field for third down and goal. It is straight quarterback power. Bohannon. Looking for the goal line, he's going to be stood up at the one. Side of our right side of our offensive line. Love it, fourth and goal. At the goal line, is he in? No. Let's take completions, we're not going to get the ball over our head early in this two minute drive. Four man rush. And that first. Let's make sure that we're getting positive plays. We've got plenty of time with the minute 51. Extending the play, third down and ten. Is it a play here? Do not force a ball into traffic. Only a three-man rush on third and ten. Brewer, low throw, incomplete. Still a big penalty. Three-man rush. Long throw to the sideline. Ebner makes the catch. Stays in bounds. And allow force West Virginia to make the tackles. Brewer, over the middle, he's got a man in stride, and walking into the end. Dagey for letting that ball go. Brewer, looking for the equalizer. He wants it all on one play, and he's got it. Beautiful. Continue to do that if you're Larry Fedora. He's going up top again. Jump ball back in the end zone. That might have been picked. It was.